Since most of us have some kind of hobby, maybe golfing or having regular lunches with friends. Yes, but a local man is the same way. The way he unwinds, though, can bring back memories for people in a special way. Little way. Jody on Thompson reports from Overland Park. It may look outdated, but average. This is a motel room in Daytona Beach. There's some food. I worked there for a few years in high school. And even a pool. Facebook really gets the credit for sharing my work. As realistic as this looks, the truth is these are all models. This one built a half an inch to one foot. For relaxation, some people paint, some people do stained glass, some people wood carve. I get relaxation out of creating miniature buildings. <laughs> Brad Moore's passion for building models started young, and he admits it's not easy. <laughs> That's true. Well, uh, I guess it traces back to third grade when my parents bought me my first Lego set. He completed a degree at KU, fittingly so, in architecture. A classmate asked for a leftover model he had designed for a Lenexa apartment building, and they ended up losing track of it until it turned up alongside this train track, the display at Union Station. A surprise he discovered just a few years ago. My instinctive reaction was I grabbed for my cell phone to call my mother, and I ripped, my mother passed away five years ago. Although his mom is not around anymore to enjoy his work, you'll find models of Overland Park buildings from the past, sometimes displayed around town in a small business. Overland Park landmark, the White Haven Motor Lodge, is his prized possession. Now there's this little piece of art to preserve its history. After all, that's why Model Man Moore does what he does. It pleases a lot of people, so that's what encourages me to build more. Jadion Thompson. You just don't see those colors anymore. 41 Action News.